Welcome to the Troubleshoot Certificate Authentication Errors video tutorial. During this brief video, I'll explain how your Firebox or XTM device uses certificates for authentication and how to fix the most common problems you might encounter. Your Firebox or XTM device uses certificates automatically for management session data, VPN tunnels, proxy servers, content inspection, and user authentication. For example, when you change your device configuration or a user logs in for a web blocker override, your device uses a certificate to make a secure connection. By default, your device uses several automatically generated self-signed certificates to perform a variety of tasks. For example, the certificate your device uses for HTTPS content inspection is usually different from the certificate used for user authentication. This way, even if an attacker gains control of the private key used for one certificate, your other certificates are still secure. If a device does not automatically trust the certificate on your Firebox or XTM device, the user will see an error when using a web browser. To resolve this error, you have two options. Install the certificate on the user device or change the certificate. For most certificate types, it is easiest to install the certificate on each user device. The web server certificate your device uses for user authentication is different from the other certificate types. Before you can install this certificate on user devices, you must change it to match the domains or IP addresses that your users connect to. For example, if your users connect to your Firebox or XTM device using an IP address like this one, the certificate must have the same IP address in its properties before a web browser will accept it. So, if users can use three different IP addresses or domain names to connect to your device, then all of those addresses need to be part of the web server certificate. If your web server certificate's properties do not include the domain or IP address used to make the connection, your web browser cannot trust it. To identify your web server certificate, in Firebox System Manager, open the Certificates dialog box, like this. Scroll through this list to find the web server certificate, which is identified with an asterisk or star next to it. If you look at the subject name column, you can see that the common name, or CN attribute, is set to Fireware Web CA. Before a web browser can trust the certificate, its common name must be set to a valid domain. To get started, close this dialog box. To update the web server certificate so your web browser trusts it, open Policy Manager. In Policy Manager, open the Web Server Certificate dialog box, like this. Select this radio button, and then type your organization's domain name here. It's okay if this isn't a real domain that your users type into their web browsers, but the text here must be a valid domain name, like example.com. Next, type the full name of your organization or company here. For this demonstration, I'll use Example Company. Finally, type your department name here. This name is usually something like Information Technology or Support. With the basics out of the way, it's time to make the certificate actually work. Use these buttons to add the domain names and IP addresses that your device uses to the certificate. This includes all interfaces users can connect to. I'll start by adding my interface IP addresses, like this. After you've added all of your IP addresses, click OK. For this demonstration, I'll only use one IP address, but you may need to add more based on your network requirements. Click here, and then add the domain names and all interface IP addresses of your device. You must add the same interface IP addresses here that were added to the interface IP address list because some browsers only look at the domain names and don't look at the interface IP addresses specified in the certificate.
to make sure the browser is fully aware of my interface IP address, I'm going to type it here, just like I did in the IP address list. Before you continue any further, make sure you save the configuration file to your Firebox or XTM device. When the web server certificate is updated and the configuration has been saved, go back to Firebox System Manager. Open the Certificates dialog box and then click Refresh, like this. Look at the Subject Name column to make sure that the certificate with an asterisk has been updated. It should now show your organization, unit, and domain names. Select the certificate and then click Details. Use this dialog box to make sure that all of the domain names and IP addresses you added are in the certificate's properties. If not, return to Policy Manager to make any necessary changes. My certificate looks great, so I'll go ahead and click OK. When you're sure that the certificate is ready, click Export and save the certificate. Browse to a folder that is easy to find and type a name for your certificate. Click Save to make a copy of your web server certificate and then close the certificates window. Once you've successfully exported and saved the certificate, you can install it on each client computer. In this demo, I'll install the exported certificate in my Windows Certificate Store and verify that it works before I distribute it to my users. When you install a certificate in the Certificate Store on your computer, any program that uses the Certificate Store can use it. For example, Internet Explorer and Google Chrome both use the Certificate Store, so any certificate you install there can be used by both programs. To install the new certificate that was just exported, first rename the file and change its extension from .pem to .crt, like this. Double-click the certificate, and then click Install Certificate to start the Certificate Import Wizard. At this point, the wizard will prompt you to select a certificate store. Select the Place All Certificates in the following store option. In the Select Certificate Store dialog box, select the Trusted Root Certification Authorities Store, and then complete the wizard. You can also distribute the certificate to all of your network devices using a Windows Group policy. For more information about that process, including how to import certificates for other operating systems and web browsers, see the WatchGuard System Manager help. After you complete the wizard, open a web browser and connect to your Firebox or XTM device. Your browser should open the user authentication page instead of displaying an error. If you see an error, Use Firebox System Manager to check the certificate and make sure the IP addresses are exactly correct. Also, remember to save your device configuration using WatchGuard System Manager. To learn more about certificates, you can review our video tutorials and product documentation on the WatchGuard website.